it's quite easy to get sucked into the whole world of consumerism because we are so used to buying things without much thought to it so today i will share with you 30 plus things that i am no longer buying in my 30s to save money and also because of sustainability and me also trying to be a minimalist Just a disclaimer this video is in no way trying to shame anybody who may be buying the things that i mentioned here our lifestyles and our circumstances may be different and that's totally okay this is just meant as an inspiration for anyone who may be looking to analyze their shopping habits a little bit now with that in place let's start the video let's start with the kitchen i don't use paper towels anymore I just use cotton towels that are not too expensive and last me a very 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 long time. Next comes aluminum foil. No, I don't use it and haven't used it for over 4 years now and haven't found the need to either. I generally just use my silicone foot covers and baking sheets that I use instead. I also don't use beeswax wraps because I'm a vegan. So, no aluminum wraps. Next comes plastic food containers. I don't buy those anymore. I know there was a time in my life when I have longed to have Tupperware containers, but that's long gone. As today, I'm happily get stainless steel containers or glass containers over the plastic ones. So that being said, I do still use the plastic ones that I already have. I just don't buy them anymore. Baking sheets. I have never bought one of these. I always used to use aluminum foil beforehand, but now I have my silicone baking mats and I'm very 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 happy to keep reusing them over and over again. Next is vegetable broth powders which we get in small sachets and so on. I've never bought those or even in the liquid form. In case I do need vegetable broth, I usually make it myself from, you know, the peels and vegetable stock pieces that I usually save and keep in my freezer. So if you would like to know how I make my vegetable broth, let me know in the comment section below. Ziploc bags. I don't think I've ever really bought a bunch of Ziploc bags which though can be reused a few times, don't really last long and are usually thrown away. I would prefer using a few silicone bags I have that are a great replacement for it. Also, if you've stayed till now and found value in my content, it would be awesome if you would hit that subscribe button. Next is tea bags. These days you find a lot of different brands of tea bags with a variety of tea flavors. Even though I am a avid tea drinker, I don't buy tea bags at all. I usually use only tea leaves and usually stick to a few flavors of tea as well. The next category will be cleaning products and the first is plastic brooms. I don't buy the most common thing in all of our household which is the conventional plastic handled broomstick. Most of them have their bristles coming out in month or two and I like using my bamboo one from Palmera that has been lasting me a long time now and my domestic worker has no complaints either. Actually she even said that she liked it more. Plastic microfiber cleaning towels. Instead I just use my cotton cloth both as my duster and for all kinds of cleaning purposes. They usually cheaper and last a much longer time too. Next comes trash bags. Biodegradable or not. Biodegradable trash bags I feel are the biggest greenwashing scams around. A lot of brands tend to have these and yet they seldom mention that these bags can only biodegrade in industrial facilities which are almost non existent in our country currently i would ask you to just use plain dustbins for your waste without any bags involved at all next is the scrub pads the conventional scrub pads in our homes are usually made of polyurethane or polyethylene mesh meaning they cannot be recycled at the end of their life because of the state they are usually in so i have completely switched to coconut scrubs or loofah scrubs that last as long as those conventional ones and can be composted at the end of their life next is plastic toilet brushes these are a no no for me in recent years 
ever since I discovered that toilet brushes made of wood and coconut fiber work just as well and will decompose at the end of their life because of the absence of any plastic element in it. Next is fabric freshener. These are some things that I hardly use at all. If I wish for my clothes to become say a little bit whiter or fresher, I just add some baking soda and vinegar alongside my laundry detergent. I stop purchasing the usual conventional cleaners that usually have a lot of SLS present in it because they're polluting. All my cleaners are currently refilled through a brand called as Refillable that lets me refill my own bottles with their SLS and harmful toxin-free cleaners. Meaning no harsh chemicals are going into the water and no extra packaging is entering my house either. Now let's move on to the next category which is the bathroom. First one is extra hair care products like dry shampoo, leave-in conditioners etc. There was a time when I thought I needed a lot of extra products to take care of my hair but now I don't use any more of these dry shampoos or conditioners or hairsprays. I am happy with my shampoo bars and conditioner bars and don't intend to ever go back to using those either. Body washes. I don't remember using these in the last five years at least. I kind of find it pointless as it finishes sooner and is super expensive when compared to normal bathing soaps. I get good quality soaps that are good for my skin too and don't intend to ever buy these body washes at all. Toothpaste. Don't get me wrong, I still brush my teeth twice or thrice a day thanks to my braces but instead of using the conventional toothpaste that comes in tubes that are mostly not recyclable, I have been using toothpaste tablets that come in aluminium cans. Disposable razors. I haven't shaved my body for a very long time and hence never use razors in general. My go-to item is an epilator which I've been using for over 8 years now. Hence, I don't intend to ever go and get those disposable or reusable razors ever again. Disposable makeup remover pads. I use just one reusable pad that I had been gifted a few years back. And I don't think I need any others for a very, very long time since they seem to be doing quite well. And the last time I used disposable makeup pads was probably at least like eight years ago or so. And I don't plan to go back to it ever again. Earbuds. To be very honest, I hardly use any earbuds, be it the plastic or the bamboo ones, because both are disposable and hence aren't exactly my favorites. So if I do feel the need to clean my ear, I use one of the reusable ones that I bought that I've mentioned in my previous video on zero waste swaps that nobody talks about. So make sure that you go check it out and find out which this product is. Toilet paper. This is one product that I minimize the usage of even when outside my home too. It can be a product that was never really previously used in Indian households but has sadly crept into it in the last decade or more. But I am very happy using my hand faucets and don't think I want to use toilet paper at all. Plastic loofahs. Another pointless product that really was never needed when we can just use our own hands to rub the soap into our bodies. And if you do want to use a product to scrub off the dirt, use natural loofahs instead which are biodegradable after its use. Let's now venture onto a category that's quite personal because it can vary from person to person depending on their interest and personality. Jewelry. I have a lot of jewelry in hand from over a decade back and I still love using them too. But I don't plan to buy more jewelry than I already have. Next is travel souvenirs. Only the item that I ever buy when I go to a new place for a trip is a fridge magnet as I personally want to see the places I have visited through the magnets that I place on my fridge. But other than that, I don't purchase anything else at all. Books. Books have been a constant on most of my no-buy videos for a couple of years now and I plan to continue on this journey. 
I have enough books to read and if I do want to try out a new one, I can always borrow or get the e-book on my Kindle. So I don't plan to buy new books at all. Plants. This is probably surprising to be seen in this list as I love plants, but I've already decided that I've spent thousands on them and felt so much shame and regret when they died on me. So I have currently pledged to only get cuttings and grow the plant instead of spending a lot of money on them. Next is beauty accessories like jade rollers or facial brushes, etc. I realized these have become a fad of late and I see new items pop up every month or two. There have been times when I have felt tempted to buy them but I've realized over time that I don't need any of it and I can look after my skin with the products I already have. Next is latest gadgets. This is a huge no for me as I always choose secondhand gadgets over first hand and that means I usually get it a year or two later and never wait for the latest ones. This habit of mine has actually been around for a long time and also makes sure that I don't overspend because of a craze. Fast fashion clothes. I've never ever been inside a H&M or a Zara store in my entire life. Earlier, when I wasn't on the sustainability journey, those brands were too expensive for me to be able to afford. And now that I can afford them, I just don't care for them. Any clothes that I own that actually may come from these brands are always secondhand. So yes, I stay away from these brands and their stores in general. Next is soda. Most households I know have a Coke or Pepsi in their fridge all the time. Thankfully, my husband and I don't care about any type of soda drinks and don't stock them up at home at all. Expensive haircuts. I usually cut my hair like once a year or two and when I do, I don't care to go for luxury salons. Instead, I choose sustainable ones, ones that use reusable items and sustainable products. So my haircut is usually a casual one and never too expensive. Flowers. Ah, now this is one item I see a lot of people love to get. But personally for me, I am not a fan of being gifted flowers. If I grow flowers at home, maybe I'll keep them in a vase, but I don't plan to buy them for decorative purposes alone. Nail polishes. Nail polishes are another product I haven't used for the last five years or more. They are made of plastic resins and hence I've been avoiding using them and stay away from buying them too. So those are all the items in my no buy list. So they are 33 items for me turning 33 this year and these have been on my no buy list all this while. So if you are looking to buy new items, I hope that this list will make you think twice before giving in to impulse shopping. And also I hope it makes you introspect your shopping habits a little bit. So I will see you the next time with another video. So until then, bye bye.